Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you doing today? Hello, good evening. Hi, are you guys okay? Are you okay? Están bien? ¿Cómo están? A ver, cuéntenme, okay. ¿cómo vamos? Okay. Hi, uh, let's start the class. Uh, let's look at some people are still joining, are still joining, right? Okay, just one second. I want to check you all. Uh -huh. We have Josia, hello. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Norma. Norma Elizabeth, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, both Norma and Elizabeth. Melissa, Nelson, Carlos, Isabra. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for joining on time. Hello, teacher. Hi, Josia. Are you okay uh, tonight? I have a cough. A cough? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, uh -huh. you may stop talking to for tonight, for only for tonight, all right? Maybe you get better. Maybe you get better if you just Thanks. rest your throat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you taking medicine? Yes, yes. Very good. <clears throat> All right, people. Okay, then let's go back to our class, everybody. Are you guys ready? Let's remember. Yes. Okay. Let's remember just a little bit, just a little bit about what we were studying yesterday, all right? A ver, ¿qué estuvimos estudiando ayer? Vamos a ver. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. A ver, Carlos Antonio, ¿qué vimos ayer? What was the last topic? El can. Um, no me recuerdo el otro bien dicho. Ok. Pero, All right. Estuvimos viendo places and things. Places and things. Where can I buy some products, right? Then we, uh -huh, we used these verbs. We used these verbs. Do you remember the verbs we used to express that? Buy, purchase, obtain. Uh -huh. What's the other? Acquire. A acquire. Mm -hmm. Acquire. Yeah. Okay. Uh, grab. 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 Uh -huh. grab. All right. Those are verbs that means the same thing, or they are synonyms, and they refer to get something by paying for it. To get something by paying for it, or to exchange money for goods or services, right? Or services. Let's remember that goods are tangible things and services are not tangible. I cannot touch the services, right? Okay. Uh, we were saying that we can use what, we can use where, when, or how to ask for information, right? When we want to ask for information, we use these questions. And this is the structure. Esta es la estructura para formar una pregunta Pidiendo información, ¿verdad? De algo. En este caso, el contexto que tenemos es de comprar algo en algún lugar, ¿verdad? Entonces, imagínese que usted necesita comprar leche y no sabe a dónde. Entonces, ¿cómo me preguntaría? Usted no sabe a dónde. ¿Qué me preguntaría? Me preguntaría what, where, when, or how. Where? Where, because you will ask about a place, right? About a place where I can get the milk. So, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Where? How? Uh -huh. You? 
uh, yeah, you you can say you in general or I in specific. Mm -hmm. Buy milk. Very good. Where can you buy milk? Where can you buy milk? In this city, right? Where can you buy milk? A ver, ¿y cómo podemos responder esa pregunta? How can we answer that question? In a supermarket. Very good. You can get um, or buy milk in the supermarket, right? Vámonos a lo simple. Lo simple sería armar una oración completa, subject, verb, and complement. Remember, I or you can buy milk in the supermarket, all right? All right, then. <clears throat> Entonces nos acordamos de SOM, ANY, nos acordamos de eh, los contables y los no contables, ¿verdad? Los nombres contables son uh, los que podemos contar. We can say one, two, three, four, five, or we can use plural, right? With those nouns. For example, a ver, un ejemplo de un nombre contable. Cosas que tengan alrededor ahorita. Can say mm, door. Apple. Apple, table, all right. Table, table book, book, book. Mm -hmm. window, window, cell phone. cell phone. I can count the cell phones, yes. All right, and I can say a, a window, a door, right? A cell phone. Si ya es en plural, yo voy a decir la cantidad exacta, si es necesario decirla, o Voy a decir son para decir una cantidad aproximada que significa más de uno, ¿verdad? More than one. So I can say, I want to buy some cell phones. Where can I buy some cell phones, right? And what about the non-count nouns? We use some, okay? For example, where can you buy some sugar, right? Where can you buy some sugar? Where can you buy some paper? Where can you buy some coffee? Yeah, we are not saying the, um, the exactly amount, we're just saying an amount, all right? We could say some for those known count nouns. O si no, vamos a decir un cuantificador, ¿verdad? A quantifier, a bottle, a pack, a bag, a box, a pair of, a couple of, right? According, uh, according to the presentations or the packaging of those products. Now, Veamos entonces cómo respondemos a esto. Es su turno. Vamos a ver. Nos vamos a ir al break of room y ustedes van a preguntar, where can you buy a printer? And you are going to say the place. Where can you buy a coffee maker, right? Where can you buy a cell phone? Where can you buy a book? All right? Por ahí se los mandé en el WhatsApp temprano. Espero que todos lo tengan. Ok. Entonces nos vamos al break of room ahorita. I have 24 people. Todos están disponibles, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó, Oscar? Dígame. Tell me. Here I am. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Vale, todos están disponibles, ¿verdad? Solo tengo que me reportó ahorita. Eh, que tenía todos, permítanme. Quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. It was Josía. Josía told me. Pero sí cree que puede participar, Josía. I can try. All right. Nelson, Nelson envió un mensaje que estaba en el trabajo todavía. Oh, ok, ok. Entonces, ¿saben qué? Vamos a hacer los grupos de tres, ok, o de más participantes. Y todos pueden tomar sus turnos. Solo vamos a tomar unos cinco minutos para hacer estas preguntas y respuestas y regresamos. All right. Vamos a ver. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, ok, Ana, ok. Entonces, por eso los vamos a poner de tres. ¿Ya? Yeah.
Ok, Emilio, pero sí entre a la sesión para que pueda escuchar a sus compañeros. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh -huh. Tenemos por ahí a Juan Marcelo y Alexandra. Vamos a ver. Hola, Blanca. Hi, Blanca. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alexandra. Okay, please practice. Yes. And um, teacher. Tell me, Blanca. Eh, impresora se dice solo printing o printing printer. Ma machine. No, solo printer. Printing. Print printer. Printer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pincher. Copy my, my chair. Ok. Solo vamos a practicar la pregunta. Con respuesta. Yes, question ¿Verdad? and answer. Ah, okay. Question and answer. Where, where can you buy um, print, printer? Wait, where can you buy a printer? I know sería at mall. Uh -huh. Yo creo I can buy a printer in shopping mall or shopping center. Creo okay. que. Very good. En, en el caso de where can you buy a books o book? Puede, puede ser la respuesta I can buy a books in a bookstore. De ahí el libro sería, sería, I can buy a book in a... A bookstore. Or a library. Ajá, uh -huh, una library. Hello. Hello. How are you doing here? How's it going? Vaya, library es biblioteca. Okay. Uh -huh. Book yes, bookstore. bookstore. Yes, or bookshop. Yes. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Thank you for the difference. No problem. Good. <laughs> Very good. So let's go back to the main room. I'm sorry, teacher. Repeat again. Okay. If you finish, let's go back yes, yes, to the teacher. main room. Yes, teacher. Yes, we'll teacher. Finish. So let's go back to the main room. Okay, Vámonos teacher. a la sala principal. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to the group number one. It was, it was, it was, it was Georgina, Daniela, and ah, actually they were not, they were in group number two, right? Okay, but Georgina, Daniela, and Jamilet, please, a ver, muestrenos, show us what you did, all right? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, um, Georgina, where can I buy um, a print machine? You can buy in the store or Walmart. Yo, do the, the question to the classmate. All right. Mm -hmm. But this is printer. Así se llama esta, ¿ok? Printer. Okay, printer. Mm -hmm. What's the name of this object? Coffee machine. Yeah, coffee machine or coffee? Maker. Coffee maker. Maker. Yeah, coffee maker. What about this one? Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. A smartphone. Very Cell good. Phone. Smartphone. Mm -hmm. What about this one? So, where can you buy a book? All right. Thank you very much. Now, Daniela, please ask one of your classmates. Okay. Um, um, Blanca, where can you buy a coffee maker? You can buy, you can buy a coffee maker in a shopping center. Great, very good. It is a shopping mall, shopping center is okay. All right, people, now we have the idea, right? We are going to say the place where you can get these objects. Right, now, center. I'm sorry, Oscar? In shopping center is my estreno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Your estreno, your new clothes. All right, vamos a ver acá en este ejercicio Vamos a unir, okay? We are going to match. We are going to match. Where, I mean, uh, the object I can buy in a department store, the object I can buy in a, mo a movie theater, the object I can buy in a repair shop, in a real estate office, in a bookstore, or 
uh, and school supplies, all right? What is this? It's a dress, right? Where can I buy a dress? Then you match it, right? Where can I go to watch a movie, right? Where can I buy pens, right? Where can I get repaired my camera? Where can I, mm, we could say, buy a building, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody please come to the board and doing the, um, the exercise, all right? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Those arrows are remarkable. Yeah. Sorry, teacher. No what problem. they mean in supply? What they mean in supply? Uh, supplies, um, objetos, eh, cosas. Ah. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. Eh, también supplies, sí, son eh, como los objetos que usa en una escuela. Okay? Por ejemplo, office supplies, las cosas que usa en una oficina. Yeah. Uh -huh. Como la utilería, ¿verdad? Very good. I'd like to see these um, wiggles. All right. The idea is you can identify where can we buy these objects, right? Mm -hmm. Yay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christina. All right, Suleyma. Okay, now stop. Uh, we are going to ask the question and then we are going to match to the answer, right? Norma Elizabeth, please. ¿Cómo haríamos la primera pregunta? Vamos a ver. Okay. Where can you department store? No, perdón. Uh, the object, Where can right? Where you dress? dress? Uh -huh. Where can you buy a dress? Where can you buy a dress? Vamos a ver, Norma. Uh, the, I can. No, buy no. A dígame, dress. dígame la fluida la pregunta. Uh -huh. Where can you buy a dress? Very good. Uh -huh. And what is the answer? La, el, la respuesta se la vamos a preguntar a otro estudiante. Vamos a ver, Hilda. What is the answer for number one? You are muted, all right. Very mute. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. I can see very well, sorry. I okay. can see very well, okay. sorry. It says a department store, right? ¿Cómo sería la respuesta a la pregunta que ella hizo? Uh -huh. Where can you no. buy a dress? Ah, in mm -hmm. and the, uh -huh. I can buy a dress mm -hmm. in a department store. Very good, Hilda. Good, good. Georgina, what will be the question for number two? Is where can you uh, watch a movie theater? A movie, a movie, solo movie. A movie? Uh huh. Very good, Georgina. What will be the answer? Uh, let's ask. Uh, Melissa, what is the answer for number two? In the movie theater. Okay, very good. I can Como buy seri... the movie theater. I can watch a movie or you can watch a movie in a movie theater, right? Mm -hmm. okay. A ver, dígame la completa, Melissa. No sé qué es solo con OK, vamos. I, I... Can watch... I can watch the movie in the movie theater. Excellent, there you go. Okay, what's the question for number three, Blanca? Uh, three, 
Uh -huh. The question. Eh, son cosas como peines. Eh, no, son lapiceros. Oh. Pens, markers, <laughs> pencils. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, where, where can... Mm -hmm. Where can I buy um, supplies? Eh, ¿Qué son estos objetos dijimos? Pens, markers, pencils. All right. Entonces school sería. Supplies. Okay, school supplies. school supplies. Yeah, office supplies too, but. ¿Cómo se llaman estos objetos que estamos viendo? Pens, markers, and pencils, right? Entonces usted va a decir, where can I buy, or where can you buy pens, pencils, or markers, right? Oh, Ahí la que okay. usted quiera, ¿verdad? El, el producto que usted quiera. A ver. Ok. Where can you buy, where, I can, where can I buy pencils? Very good. Uh huh. What will be the answer? What will be the answer? Someone was saying something. Uh, Josia, do you want to answer? She can buy a supply using office depot. Oh, right. Very good. Yeah. At a bookstore or an office supplies. Yeah. Because office depot también es un depósito, ¿verdad? Depot es depósito. All right. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. You did a very good job tonight, right? So let's continue with the new topic because the new topic is in our manuals, right? Um, just one second. I see. Thirty-three. Oh, I think it's going to be time for calling the attendance, right? Okay, I will call the attendance. So everybody, please uh, remember you have to Turn your camera on. Todos encender su cámara para tomar la asistencia. Okay, turn your camera on and when you listen to your name, you say present. All right. Okay. Alexandra, Patricia, Arevalo Reyes. Present teacher. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Yamilet Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martínez. I am here teacher. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. Cristina Claribel Chavarría de Bonilla. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Her Hercules Torres. Present teacher. Hoy casi no lo hemos oído, Edwin. ¿Qué pasó? Efraín <laughs> Emilio Acevedo. All right. Thank you very much. I know you are not able to answer. All right. Georgina Concepción Menéndez Echeverría. Present teacher. Hilda Beatriz Pineda Leiva. Present teacher. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Josía Alexiomar Mejía Benavides. Present teacher. Juan Marcelo Flores. Manuel Aristides Cardona Navarro. Present teacher. Mariana Denise Monterrosa Portillo. 
No está Mariana ahora. Mariana, are you there? All right. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. Norma Elizabeth Callejas López. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Okay. Ronald Roberto Torres Villalobos. Present teacher. Xiomara Natalie Rivera Ríos. Verónica Stephanie Castro Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Present teacher. Suleima Emperatriz Álvarez de Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, people, let's continue. Bien, antes de entrar al otro, al otro, eh, Tema. Juan Marcelo, let me check. Yes, I checked you in. I checked you in already. We are not able to hear you. There. I'm sorry, just give me one second because I think you get it. Y no lo puedo poner en silencio, Juan. All right, there you go. Teacher Preset, a mí me sacó la aplicación cuando me, me Oh, ok, Mariana. Ahí estaba viendo que estaba usted. Sí, vamos sí. a ver, Mariana, Mariana. Está por acá. Ah, ok. Ok, Mariana. Chequeada. Vale, vamos a ver entonces. Eh, hagamos entonces este último ejercicio, ¿sí? Este último ejercicio es de escuchar, ¿ok? Listening. Listening exercise. I'll share the screen with you. Ok. Listen and complete the chart. So I'm going to... <clears throat> You can't listen, right? Oh, sorry. Let's start from there. Seven, exercise two, listening. I can't find my cell phone. Part A, Vanessa is looking for her cell phone with her friend Tom. What does Tom need? Where is he going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Hi, Vanessa. What's the matter? I can't find my cell phone. That's too bad. What are you going to do? Well, first, I'm going to go back to the bookstore. 
Maybe it's there. Great. I'll go with you. Why? Do you need a book? No, but I'm going to buy some magazines. All right. What does Tom need? Magazine. Magazine. Magazines. And where is he going to get it? What place? At the bookstore. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. Number two. Two. They don't have my phone. This is terrible. Where are you going to look next? The post office? No, I'm going to go to the drugstore. I hope it's there. Oh, cool. cool. I'll go with you again. I need some ice packs for my elbow. Okay, let's go. All right. What does Tom need? Some nice packs. Some nice packs. Ice packs. Uh huh, for his elbow. And where is he going to get it? Drugstore. At the drugstore. Yes. All right, continue. Number three. Three. So, do you have it? No, it's not here. I'm really worried now. Let's see. What about the supermarket? Do you think it's there? No, I never go shopping there. But maybe it's at the department store. I'm going to go there next. Can I come too? You're really nice, Tom, but I can go alone. No, really, I want to go. I need a new coat. All right, what does Tom need? A coat. Yes, a new coat, right? Mm -hmm. And where is he going to get it? Department. 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 All right, continue. Four. So, do you have your phone? No, I don't. I'm going to ask at the coffee shop and then go home, because... What's that? Oh, it's my cell phone. It's mm. here in one of my shopping bags under a sweater. That's wonderful. So, um, you're not going to the coffee shop then? Well, no. I have my phone now, so I can go home. Okay. I think I'll go to the coffee shop anyway. I really need a cup of coffee. You know what? I'll go with you. Lo menos que podía hacer, ¿verdad? All right. What does Tom need in number four? Cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Yes. Uh-huh. And where is he going to get it? Cafeteria. Yeah, at the coffee shop, right? Coffee shop, all right? At the coffee shop or at the cafeteria, right? A cafeteria. All right, people. Now, um, well, actually, we, we have to study today the um, locations and directions, all right? Locations and directions. So tomorrow we will continue with this just as a matter of feedback. We are going to um, ask and answer, right? What do you need and where are you going to get it? So, aquí les voy a pasar esta. Ah, permítanme. Ahí les voy a pasar esta para que ustedes hagan una historia similar, digamos, pero ya sería en su creatividad, ¿verdad? Use your cre creativity and make a story, make a story 
Uh, with these two pictures, all right? With these two pictures. Ustedes miran estas dos eh, dibujos o, o fotos y van a inventar algo usando el vocabulario que hemos visto, okay? Places and things, right? What do you need to buy? Yeah, with this and with this. Unidos los dos, ¿verdad? O sea, que las dos cosas van a usar en su misma historia. All right. Eso lo vamos a terminar de hacer mañana, pero ustedes empiecen a pensar, ¿verdad? En su historia. Ok, then, the, um, that topic we are going to study today is prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. You know the prepositions of place? What are they for? ¿Para qué son las preposiciones de lugar? A ver. ¿Alguien me puede decir what are they for? ¿Para qué sirven? What's the usage? Para dar una dirección. For the place. Ajá. Uh -huh. Position, yeah. for example. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To uh -huh. say how it goes. So, uh, from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. All right. Mm -hmm. So, we use the prepositions of place to answer the question, where is any place, right? Where is a thing? And, for example, we can use the prepositions of place to give directions and also to express locations, all right? Locations. Maybe you are going to listen that I'm talking kind of strange tonight, but I had a root canal tonight, so I'm doing like this, speaking like this, but I'm so sorry, I'm trying to do my best, all right? It says, where is it? Where is it? Then we give directions and then we express locations. Locations is the position of the place. Okay, the location is the position of the place. Where is it? Okay, where is it? For example, the prepositions of place to define where the places are, we are going to say on, on. When we use on, it's about the avenue, on First Avenue, on Main Street, all right? Otro nombre de calle puede ser on Chiltupan Street, okay? On, a ver otra calle que conozcamos, on Los Proceres Boulevard, yeah? On uh, Olimpica. Okay, Olimpica Avenue. All right, very good. Bien, vamos a ver acá, on the corner of, on the corner of, este es en la esquina, ¿verdad? Este es en la esquina de... Pero en una esquina normalmente hay dos calles, ¿verdad? Está la avenida y está la calle. Entonces decimos on the corner of y decimos la calle y la avenida. For example, on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. ¿Ok? On the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. Vamos a ver en la siguiente. Let's look at the next one. It says across from. Across from. Across from. From. Ah, está dando una dirección al mismo tiempo que está dando la ubicación. Dice across. Usted tiene que cruzar, ¿verdad? Pero desde dónde a dónde. Porque hay un origen y hay un destino, ¿verdad? Entonces, across from. Podemos decir que este sea el supermarket y que este sea el park. Diciendo, ¿verdad? Podemos decir. Across from the supermarket. Ok. The park is across from the supermarket, all right? Vamos a ver, acá tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, del parque, ok? Sí puede ser al lado contrario, ya. Yeah? Across from the park, across from the park, ok? Si yo digo, the park is across from the supermarket, or puedo decir al revés, dependiendo en dónde estoy, ¿verdad? Todas las locaciones y direcciones dependen de dónde el que está preguntando y el que está respondiendo están ubicados. Entonces, por ejemplo, cuando usted habla por teléfono con alguien y le dice, mire, más o menos por dónde queda, me puede ubicar así, por dónde queda ese edificio. Mire, por dónde es ese, esa oficina. Entonces, ¿qué es lo primero que preguntamos? 
Where are you located? ¿De dónde viene? ¿En dónde está usted? Entonces, dependiendo del punto de origen, así van a ser las direcciones, ¿verdad? Si estoy arriba, le voy a decir que baje. Si está abajo, le voy a decir que suba, ¿sí? Entonces, el punto de referencia siempre debe existir para poder dar la dirección, ¿ok? O las formas de llegar, ¿verdad? Este directions no es lo mismo que address, ¿ok? This directions were is not the same as address, ¿ok? La dirección es la nomenclatura, ¿verdad? La dirección es la nomenclatura del edificio. Entonces, address, address. Pero direction es que usted le da las señas de cómo llegar, ¿verdad? Usted le dice, vaya, you cross to the right, or maybe you turn to the left, you maybe you cross the street, and, y le empieza a decir lo que debe hacer para poder llegar, ¿verdad? Esos son directions. Locations van a ser en dónde está el punto de llegada ubicado, ¿verdad? Esos son locations. For example, if I ask, where is eh, La Tecleña? Where is Panadería La Tecleña? Entonces todos me van a preguntar, where are you located? ¿De dónde viene usted? ¿O de dónde? ¿Cuál Tecleña? ¿Verdad? Entonces tenemos que ubicar el lugar de, del que nos están preguntando y la ubicación del eh, que está preguntando, ¿verdad? Porque si no, no le podemos dar la dirección. No, no podemos decirle, ah, mire, suba y él va a bajar, ¿verdad? O sea, no, no se va a poder. All right. Entonces, veamos cómo se usan las prepositions. Acá tenemos. Tell me. Y cuando dicen local, local es lo mismo location. Mm, which word? Lo, local, algo así he escuchado, que, que como que lo como una contracción de location o algo así. ¿Cómo no sé así? Si es... I think lo it's lo local. Lo uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Local? Sí, local. Loco, como okay. loco. No, no, es porque así pronuncia, así se pronuncia, local. Local es eh, que es algo doméstico, que es algo propio del lugar. Por ejemplo, the local, veamos algo local, más popular. Local. The local food, yeah, the local food, uh -huh. the local, uh, cualquier costumbre de nosotros, local, ¿verdad? Y significa exactamente lo mismo en inglés, local, como doméstico o parte del lugar donde usted está hablando. Uh -huh. No, no tiene nada que ver con esto, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Esto okay. no tiene okay. nada que ver con ubicaciones o direcciones, no, no, no va con esto, ¿ok? Local es algo de lugar, ¿ok? Algo local. Yeah. All right. Vamos a ver entonces. Addresses, dijimos que no es lo mismo que directions. Addresses es esta nom nomenclature. And we say. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's two Ds. Yeah. Address. All right. And directions, locations, right? Estábamos en next to. Next to. Next to is right beside. Okay. They are one aside. Okay. Está al lado de. Next to. Okay. Between. Between means, for example, my face is between my hands, right? I put my one hand here and the other hand. So my face is between my hands. So entre, right? Entre dos lugares. Entonces, cuando usamos between, we need to say two places, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver cómo las usamos. Vamos a ver on. The department store is on Main Street. ¿Alguien me quiere leer la primera de regreso? A ver. The department store is on Main Street. Very good. The second one. Can you read it, please? Yes. All right. It's on the corner of Main and First. Very good. The third one. It's across from the park. Very good. Next one. It's, it's next, next to, to the, the bank. bank. It's next to the bank. All right. Uh -huh. What's the next one? The bank, the bank is between, is between the, department. the department. The department store and the restaurant. Oh. Necesitamos dos oh. lugares para decir between, ¿verdad? 
Una es department store y el otro lugar es restaurant. Entonces, ¿dónde está el banco? Where is the bank? The bank is the bank between, between the department, department store, store and, the, and restaurant. the restaurant. All right, very good. Vamos a ver entonces acá. Where is the department store? Where is the department store? The department store is on my stream. All right. Mm -hmm. Where is, uh, vamos a ver. ¿Qué sería este? Siempre the department store, right? Where is the department store? It's on the corner. Aha. Uh -huh. It's on the corner of main. Solo es de leerlo, solo es de leerlo. Lo que vamos agregando es la pregunta, ¿ok? Estamos agregando esta pregunta y estamos sustituyendo it por el nombre de el lugar, ¿ok? Where is the department store? Sería la segunda la respuesta. It's it on the corner of the Very good. Now, what about, um, again, the department store, right? Where is the department store? It's across it's from the park. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's look, look at this again, right? Where is the department store? Okay, so the bank is the blue, right? Mm -hmm. The bank is the blue box here. All right. The bank, where is the bank? The bank is the restaurant. In the restaurant, yes. All right, so this is the way to use the prepositions of place, all right? The prepositions of place. Usually this is for locations, all right? Locations, ubicaciones, okay? Location sería ubicaciones, okay? Then, is there any question so far about these prepositions of place? Teacher and direction in the same. No, directions es cuando vamos a darle las señas de por dónde se ah. va a ir, cómo va a llegar. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. ¿Alguien conoce alguna other, otra preposition of place? Behind, maybe behind. Yes, behind. Mm -hmm. no, a través de mm, behind es atrás o detrás no, de no. Otra, otra otra true o, o a través de okay through okay in true. front of in front of very good in front of uh -huh. existe otra que se llama opposite okay opposite ¿Alguien conoce otra? Um, I don't know. Next. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ajá. Next to, aquí la tenemos. Next. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Existe otra que es by. Hay otra que existe around the corner. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. around. Yeah. Around the corner. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál otra? Do you know any other? ¿Alguna que se les venga a la mente? Ahorita exprimimos el cerebro. We squeeze our brains. Do you remember? Close to. All right, close or near, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería antes de llegar a? Before. Yeah, before. Oh. Y también pass. Okay, pasando, ¿verdad? Passing or pass. Mm -hmm. Pasando. Ajá, también existe otra que se parece a near. Okay, ah, aquí la tenemos, by. Near and by. And next, son bastante similares, okay? 
they are bastante similares, solo que ya en una locación sí se mira un poco la diferencia. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces, behind sería atrás, through sería a través de, ok, in front of, enfrente de, opposite, opuesto a, ok, opuesto a, by, ahí cerca de, ¿verdad? By. By puede ser por aquí, en cualquiera de estas ubicaciones de un punto de referencia, ¿ok? También puede ser by al lado de, ¿ok? Around the corner, que es rodeando la esquina, ¿verdad? Rodeando la esquina o cruzando la esquina. Close, cerca. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería la, el opposite de close? Far, 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 far away, right? Run, run away. <laughs> yeah, like Shrek. Uh -huh. Far away. Do you remember far away? <laughs> All right. So here we go. Then we have near, cerca, before, antes de, okay, before of, and pass, pass. Teacher. Pass, uh huh. And on the top. On the top, yeah, ajá, uh -huh, al tope, yeah, on the top. Este sería como el final de, okay, at the end of, on the top, yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, si podemos decir on the top, podemos decir under. Ah, sí, porque esa sería una ubicación. Lo único que under, si hablamos de locaciones, usted me estaría hablando del basement, Under. Si el, oh, si okay. el lugar está under another office here, ok, podríamos usar mm -hmm. under. Si estuviera en el basement, por ejemplo, o si estuviera en el first floor, right? And in the second floor, oh, there the is parking. another office. Yeah, in the parking, well, in the parking lot, no. No, it, that is not under. That's down the stairs, right? Or down, yeah. Oh, okay. But not under. Under es debajo de, ok? Under. O sea, quiere decir que hay algo encima. ¿Ya? Yeah. Under. Mm -hmm. Pero también right. es una... Under mm, the stairs. I'm sorry? Puede decir under the stairs. Under the stairs, yeah. Así como están los baños en Metrocentro, es under. ¿Ya? Yeah. Pero usualmente sería down the stairs, porque tiene que bajar las gradas. Aunque la ubicación está under, porque está de, abajo exacto de las gradas. ¿no? Está... El staircase and under the there are the bathrooms, right? So yeah, you can use under if you just say the location, but if you say the way to get there, it will be down the stairs, right? Down the stairs, for example, down the stairs, así. Así sería bajando las gradas, all right? Mm -hmm. Y este under the stairs es que de plano está debajo de. Mira, este es abajo, este es debajo. All right, all right. Mañana vamos a seguir estudiando las eh, prepositions of place y vamos a aprender a dar directions, ¿ok? Mañana es Wednesday, right? Wednesday. All right, people. Is there any questions so far at the moment? Is there any questions so far? No teacher. Okay, then I think hit the, it's time to hit the sack, right? It's time to hit the sack. Hit the sack significa de irse a dormir, ¿verdad? Hit the sack. Se lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat. Sí. This is como un idiom, okay? This is como un idiom. Ahorita se los paso aquí. Así sería, miren. Oh, yeah, a cup of coffee. It's time for a cup of coffee. Oh, no. Nelson me puso lo de el muchacho, ¿verdad? De Tom. Uh, ok. Sería, it's time to hit the sack. Like this. It's time to hit the sack. Yeah. The sack is the pillow, right? Uh-huh. The sack is the pillow, even though the sack is for boxing, right? It's for boxing. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it's time to hit the sack and time is up. Time is over. So see you tomorrow. Have a very good night, everybody.
Night night, Emilio. Bye.